Hello, Veronica Spriggs here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a blended effect on your layouts. We're going to be blending our photographs into the background of our layout. As you can see here in this photograph, I've already created this effect, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. You want to start with your layout and you have your background and your papers and everything already and what we're going to do is grab one of our photographs. You can see here I've already got my layout done. This background has already been merged and flattened. So what I'm going to do now is drag my photograph onto my background. And then I'm going to begin removing my edges by choosing a large soft edge brush. I'm going to set my brush to about 12, 1400. And I have my hardness set to zero. That looks like a good brush to work with. So now I'm just going to begin removing the hard edge line from the photograph. You want to make sure that's completely removed and that no portions of it remain. And once that's done, you're going to begin slowly moving inward toward the photograph. In this case, I'm going to be removing all of the background up to the edge of her sweater. So as I go closer and closer in, I'm going to be very careful so that I'm not cutting too far into the edge and erasing her arm. Now I'm going to choose a smaller brush size and you can do that by using the bracket key, the left bracket key on your keyboard and just hit that down until you have a nice small size that you can work with and you'll have lots of control. So I'm going to go down and continue just erasing all of that edge except for the very edge of her sweater. Now you can see it's starting to blend really nicely into the photograph. You want to make sure that you are going around the edges so that you're removing the harsh line and any strong edge around the photo. Okay, once I've worked with my edge, I'm also going to blend some of, of this background into the photo also. And I'm going to do that by going up here and I'm going to change the brush's opacity to about 25%. And this is going to vary depending on, you know, what type of photograph you're working on and what type of background you have to work with. So now I'm going to start erasing directly over the photograph itself. And as you can see, this is just softening that background a bit. It's not removing it, but it's making it nice and soft so that the subject stands out more so than the background itself. Okay, that looks good. And remember to bring your opacity back up to 100% for the next time that you're using your brush. You won't be wondering why this brush isn't working. Okay, and now that we've finished erasing, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and work on our blend modes. And I'm going to toggle my keyboard so that you can see as I'm doing that. You start with normal. 
and then you're going to use your up or down arrow keys and just blend through all the different modes so that you can see how each mode is going to look on your layout and then choose the one that gives the best effect of what you're trying to achieve so here it is with dissolve darken multiply color burn linear burn darker color lighten screen color dodge and then some of the dramatic effects will start happening around hard light that's a really nice effect vivid light and linear light and then so on and so on you can go down and you know just do these each time you are working on your new portrait because every time it's going to give you a different effect but once you learn how these layer effects work you'll know somewhat what you're going to achieve so here I'm going to go with linear burn and I'm going to leave the opacity as it is right now because what I want to do now is I want to go up to image adjustments and then hue saturation and I'm going to basically try to remove some of the saturation and adjust the hue a little bit so that the colors complement my layout a little bit more so I'm going to start removing some of the saturation and I think that looks good and then I'm going to change the hue a bit so you, now you can see she's really starting to blend more so and the colors are working really well with the layout that I've chosen you can also adjust the lightness a little bit as well and then I'm going to select OK that is going to depend purely on what type of layout you're working with so I didn't stop to tell you what settings I use because you're probably going to choose your own and now that we have that set we're going to lower the opacity so that it really blends nicely into the background and I'm going with about 47 now I'm going to zoom up here so that you can see how that's blended. What I'm going to do now is choose my polygon lasso tool. My feather is set to 20 and you can see here where the blend is actually the, the pattern of the background is actually going through her face. That effect I don't like. I like to leave the skin clear as possible. So I'm going to begin selecting somewhere starting in this scarf area and then around the hair and face. And I'm going to select that. Once you're done your selection, you want to make sure that you have your background image chose. And then we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then blur that out a bit so that you can't see any of the pattern anymore and that looks good so I'm going to say OK and then you can just de deselect that so now if I tune in a little bit closer you can see that you still have some of the pattern around her hair and so but her face and eyes are clear and that's what we want or for this particular layout that's what I want if, if you don't like that you can leave it if you want to keep that effect go ahead and now we have a really nicely blended e image now we have a really nicely blended image what I'm going to do now is just duplicate this layer and this time I'm going to set it to screen and bring my opacity down a bit more and that just lightens it up a bit so that it seems like it blends a little bit more and then I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to set it to overlay bring the opacity up a bit and this time I'm going to blur it out a little bit more blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to bring up a nice a really strong blur at about 45 and then I'm going to select OK 
And there you have it. This is my effect applied, a nice blended portrait into the background of our digital scrapbook page. And that's one great way to achieve the blended effect. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you back again for the next one.